Hey guys, this is AJYT Abbott, and welcome to a brand new thing on my channel. I'm not just doing trailer reactions anymore, I'm doing straight up just plain old reactions to any old thing. Some videos, some channel off, some good, some good mythical morning maybe. Um, we'll see what happens. So, today I have for you guys my reaction to the Powerpuff Girls movie review from... Nostalgia Critic, and I absolutely love Nostalgia Critic, I love the series, um, you know, Doug Walker himself, the Nostalgia Critic himself, Doug Walker, makes me laugh, I do like his, uh, brother Rob Walker, he's pretty funny, um, in some of their first viewing videos, I do like those too, um, I've gotten, you know, to really like a lot of their, the people on their show, Malcolm, Tamara, you know, I like all of them. Um, Santa Christ, Devil Boner, Hyper Fangirl, um, you know, I've come to love them all, so let's sit down and let's watch Doug's review for the Powerpuff Girls movie. I've actually never seen the movie, but I've seen the TV show plenty good enough to know how good Powerpuff Girls is, and it's pretty good. Yep, Malcolm. Camera. Rob Walker, yep. Doug Walker and Rob, yep. <sighs> I am very tired, but I want to get this video out to you guys. Guy, remember it so you don't have to. Okay. The Powerpuff Girls. Yep. Well, I can't say I grew up with the show. I think I was entering college at the time. I can say I'm quite familiar. I grew up with it, I just didn't watch it as often as I did, like, Dexter's Laboratory or Billy and Mandy. Oh yeah, the newer ones are, eh, I'm not too big on the new ones. Yep. <laughs> Which I never got to see. I need to watch. Whew. Just chill. Release from Cartoon Network. This superhero beat 'em up got an astounding <laughs> okay response from critics and received an amazing. I mean, Cartoon Network office. movies are okay. Regular show the movie was phenomenal. Yeah, nobody really talks about this movie too much, and on some I've never like even TV heard of it that and much. Who shows up, does his job, and then leaves your consciousness, kind of like fish. about this movie? Is there something to recognize beyond just distracting you for an hour and a half? Let's hope not, or else the Medea movies will have nothing to survive on. Damn. So slap on your white socks and act like that having no fingers or toes savage, is part of being dumb. a kindergartner. I'm glad somebody else had their childhood. This is the Powerpuff Girls movie. Ah, back when Warner Brothers thought pan and scan would be the future. I miss you, eyesores. In the city of Townville, crime is on the rise. Yeah, well, Warner Brothers. About, War, uh, the Warner the Brothers is well, in is shambles, man. bro. Back to a time. I mean, they had nice. it last year, so that was pretty good. Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Mojo Jojo. No. No, Doug. Don't put the head in my head. Please don't. Some windows. I can see some windows. I'll call a contractor tomorrow. 
Yeah. I never liked Cookie Crisp. I really never liked Cookie Crisp. I was always a Frosty Flakes guy. You're killing it. You're killing it. Bubbles recovers and the girls use their superpowers to play the game, destroying chunks of the Jesus, buttercup. Yeah, she's something. She's well, the video blossom, what other blossom buttercup. Do we have to make? Bubbles, so, okay. blossom, and buttercup. Buttercup is the green. I remember that, I think. See who the woman was in the red uh uniform. Incredibly dark. Just get down to your little son to understand your specialness. We're gonna try and be frozen to this, but the earworm we have is a literal earworm. People often get scared or angry when they don't understand something special in the game. That's silly. Well, <sighs> man. Oh, if you blew shit up, kind of a legit reason to get mad. <laughs> the news spreads through town, and the next day, the kids are not greeted with much warmth. Him. Well, that PG rating did not include Yosemite Sam language. <laughs> the professor is brought in for questioning, leaving the girls alone after school. He probably just got held up, or maybe the car broke, or, or maybe he just forgot, or maybe he just forgot. The hero mm. thought Ed Helms was the worst thing to happen to Tag. Dang. About them, shocking even I haven't seen Tag yet. Is it good, like guys? I still need to do my Halloween review. I gotta do that. I gotta get that done. Tuesday Nation review is done now. Because it's a Friday night. Rick's last episode review, but I want to do that live. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Oh boy. Says his name. 
name is Jojo, and like them, he's an outcast. Heads up, this is my favorite shot in the movie. And if you just give people time, they'll start to understand your specialness. Yeah, you just gotta believe in yourself. Ooh, not to tell the bottom Carter and the monkey look so creepy. I've never seen the somebody enough, grin so evilly and grin so grin so grin 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 if that's a word, it's the Grinch. Rotten Tomatoes gave it so much hate, by the way. The new one. Yeah. Always wanted to go to commercial, am I right? Yeah. And this will probably be commercial, so Hi guys, All right, I'm we're back. Doug's new kitty. Have you heard about this mouse on a string? God, I hmm. love this mouse on a string. Until I get bored by it. I'm a little bored by the mouse on the string. Now I'm back to it. Mouses on strings are great. And did you know that you can see Doug and the rest of the gang at Grand Rapids Comic Con? Hmm. It's November 9th to the 11th. It'll be my owner, Doug. What a great guy. His brother, Rob. What a great guy. <laughs> Malcolm Ray. Great guy. Tamara Chambers. Great guy. And Jim J. Rod. Coincidentally, also a great guy. There's a lot of other great guests there, so we hope you check them out. Me? I'm gonna go ruin Doug's couch. What a great couch. Oh, that wasn't <laughs> supposed to happen. Isn't that great? I'm just gonna sniff this for a while. I love sniffing this for a while. Oh, that one fell too, but I'm just gonna keep sniffing this one for a while. <laughs> I'm a really weird cat. So go to this site to figure out how you can get tickets to Grand Rapids Comic Con in Michigan and smell scratching posts on couches. You don't know what you're missing. This is great! Okay then. I might be able to go to Ocean City Comic Con. I'm hyped for that. December 8th. I agree with Doug. Damn! That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. Like you could have just said, oh, or ugh, or get, or they, or just stay away from them, little boy, or son. No, she had to say, I thought all the animals were locked up. Yes, my dear. Would I lie? <laughs> I love space balls. It's funny because Do butts. Again for that movie. Do you want to talk about something? Their brains all seem to grow as the next morning. It's both funny the because butts. Prepare for their big day. The girls think they're gonna help the town, but they accidentally cause the apocalypse. Oops. Jojo then gives the best introduction to a new name since the artist formerly known as Prince. The hobo formerly known as Jojo is no more. From this day forward, I shall be known as Mojo Jojo. That's so funny, I totally glance over that there's two weird focuses on butts in that shot. Again, movie, do you want to talk about Yeah, that's... Do they have a... Pr do... do they have an obsession with butts? But Mojo Jojo finds out his minions want to be in charge instead of him. Cha-ching, cha-ching, symbolize chaotic calamity. My name is Hunter Hell. Chata, and here is my speech. No. I don't remember getting high, but I'm clearly high. I don't remember being high either, Doug. I think it was brave to have the makers of Dexter's lab do the pink elephant scene in Tim Burton's Dumbo. Probably could be better than what we really get. Meanwhile, on... I can't even comment on that because uh, I'm actually very, very biased on that movie. I think it's, it's not going to be good. 
mainly because I'm, I'm not that into Dumbo. Don't at me. Exactly. I was promised non-stop action. But I was needed. Okay, I know they're villains, but that's cool. Literally pushing the dog under the water so it purposely drowns. That's rude. That's bad. So they want to make the townspeople believe that they were that they're good after causing violence and destruction. So they're going to fix the problem about the townspeople seeing them as destructive by causing more destruction. Okay. I could be a nostalgia critic. Come on now. That really is. It seems like all these movies have to have the dramatic villain is defeated. Oh wait, no, he turns into a giant, giant, enormous monster cliche. That's that's. Yeah, especially in that one person that had their gum showing, and the one person that was like, "That's." Well, that's a shock. I really thought they were gonna join him. Do you think these are Mission Impossible twists? They defeat him just as the professor comes up with an antidote to shrink So this is a prequel. Okay. You caused destruction to our town. And you Damn. I just recently. I just recently watched that. That episode. I mean, I was gonna go with creepy sperm dolls, but I guess that works too. The Powerpuff Girls movie has a strange problem of taking itself too seriously. Yeah, that's. Wow, that is. Jesus. That was bad. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's a decent. It's decent for its time. Next week's movie, The Dinosaur. Are we getting Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Or just Jurassic World? That, that should be fantastic. Okay. I'm just gonna let this play out. So, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, you know, he brought up some pretty, uh, valid points. He brought up some pretty valid points about, um, the Powerpuff Girls movie. You know, it took itself, to, it took itself too seriously. Some of the plot holes don't make, uh, sense. But then again, it's Powerpuff Girls, the movie. Come on now, do we... Do we really care about plot holes? I mean, we're just trying to get a nice, good sense of the cartoon that most people all loved at their age. Um, you know, I was never really into it that much. I was always more of a Dexter's Lab, Ed and Eddie, you know, Billy and Mandy, Foster's Home kind of kid. I never really did watch that. Um, 
and then I would go between like Chowder or um, my gym partner's a monkey, or my gym friend is a monkey, or that kind of, that show, um, but yeah, I thought he brought out some really valid points, so, yeah, thank you all for watching my first ever, well, no, actually, this is the first official reaction to, um, just random videos, and this was my reaction to Mr. Hodger Critic, the Powerpuff Girls movie. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.